Matt Rowe burst onto the footy scene in 2020. The first pick in the draft had three best on grounds in his second, third and fourth AFL game. His season was cut short due to a shoulder dislocation in round five. He returned the following year but badly injured his knee in round one, limiting him to just 12 games with no real impact. Finally, in 2022, he got a full run of games, playing all 22, averaging 18.5 disposals, 6 clearances and 7 tackles. His 2023 has improved to a career best year. Rao has yet to fully discover the blistering form his career began with. Experts in the industry have worried about his durability and impact on games, yet others praise him for his contested style and untamed attack on the ball. Rao is a fascinating player in the AFL, so how good is he really? According to AFL player ratings, Matt Rao is the 19th highest rated player. On face value, this is extremely good for a player about to turn 22. But when we look closer at Matt Rao's season, we see the extremes of his play, both good and bad. Rao's best games this year have been enormous. 29 disposals, 1 goal, 17 tackles against West Coast, and his ridiculous 29 disposals, 1 goal, and 16 clearance game against the Bulldogs was off the charts. However, his poorer games are the polar opposite. Just 12 disposals and 7 tackles against the Saints and 18 disposals with just 3 clearances against the Lions show a dramatic drop-off. It's rare for a player to be able to perform at astronomical levels but also be capable of performing at very low levels. Rao's biggest strength is his contested ball winning ability and pressure at the source. He is 6th in contested possessions a game at 14.3 making up 63% of his disposals. He's third in clearances a game and first in tackles in the whole of the AFL. These are absurdly good numbers for an inside mid. When this part of his game is up and going, Rao is vicious. Gold Coast often play in jury conditions at home and in Darwin. Round 11 and 12, the Suns featured up in Darwin. Perfect condition for Rao's contested style. Combined, he averaged 22 disposals, 1 goal, 7.5 tackles and a monster 13 clearances, coinciding with 2 wins against the Crows and Bulldogs, both top 8 sides. The grunt work in and under clearance game from Rao is almost unmatched in the entire AFL. It is seriously phenomenal for such a young player. The concerns for Matt Rao come on the outside and transition part of the game. Starting with Rao himself, his 8.2 uncontested possessions per game is the 31st lowest for all midfielders in the competition. 1.8 uncontested marks per game is equal 22nd worst. Rao struggles to get easy kicks or link up play in transition. His kicking efficiency is below average at 54.5%. Rao's kicking style itself is clunky and awkward, but this percentage is also due to most of his kicks coming from stoppage. Three goals this year is also low for a midfielder. So why does he struggle in this facet of the game? Rao is listed at just under 6 foot tall and at 80 kilograms, although he does to the eye look closer to 85. He is a strong wide frame with a strong core and big legs. For the strength Rao has, he gives up in speed and leg burst. Rao's lateral movement is poor too and he's far from the superstars like Bonampelli, Butters and teammate Noah Anderson. We know Rao can win the ball at stoppage, but he has struggled to burst clear in space often running into opposition tackles or taking contact. It's a brutal way to play and it's hard on the body. Center clearance allows Rao to get into space easier, but his clunky kicking does limit him from lacing out a teammate. Rao can definitely improve his kicking skill, but is it possible for him to gain the speed and know-how to get the ball in uncontested scenarios? Simply putting it, Rao's greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. He is so good at winning contested ball, tackling and clearance, but is equally as bad when the game is in flow, kicking goals and impacting with clean disposal by foot. How good you think Rao is, is probably up to your feel of the game. If you like the tough, brutal competitors of the sport, you probably admire Rao. If you like the spark creativity and outside dash, Rao most likely isn't one of your favourites. I do think Rao is respected by everyone who watches him, including myself. He is a great footballer but seems to be flawed. His long-term health is equally concerning as he has missed plenty of games since debuting. Rao will still be an important future of the Suns. He will always bring heat on the ball and do everything he can to will his side to victory.